Smash Bandicoot's a twat. YouTube is a platform with 2.5 billion users on it and only a small percentage of his users ever actually truly make it it's extremely hard to grow on youtube let alone get acknowledged by some of the bigger youtubers on the platform who untied you one would never imagine that a youtuber with only 20,000 subscribers would ever be recognized by moist critical of all people but today we're going to be talking about someone who did just that despite all of the odds oh man Moist Critical was talking about him at 16k? How'd he do it? Oh. Oh, okay. Likely born from the hellfires of an Egyptian dumpster, Smash Bandicoot has accomplished what many small YouTubers only dream of. Through sheer petty willpower alone, he clawed his way into infamy before being smited down by our Lord and Savior, Normie Jesus. And it will likely be his greatest achievement considering how he conducts himself online. So let's no we're not doing that so let's begin <laughs> so let's begin no let's begin Whippee! have you ever seen me before i know a lot of you are surprised that i'm actually black but you know i want to start doing this more often and i want to start doing that with my own setup instead of using my friend's setup isn't that right holly <laughs> all banter aside uh if you haven't subscribed yet and are enjoying what you're seeing so far then please subscribe it does numbers I have all my socials linked in the description from my Twitter, Instagram, and obviously Discord if you want to join that. I, I really want to hit 100k before VidCon so I can get a silver play, but who the fuck can type? So subscribe, and if you really enjoy my content and want to see it early, then join the channel memberships. $5 channel members get a free Discord role and also mention at the end of the video and the thank yous, and $1 members still get things early, but that's about it. But yeah, um, enough wasting your time, back to the video. During his rampage throughout the discords of commentary YouTubers, Smash employed all sorts of tactics consisting of, but not limited to, stalking, harassment, threats of violence, cyber flashing, sending porn to minors, and stealing from his local Tesco. Wait a minute, porn to minors? If you or a loved one has been diagnosed with Smash Bandicoot-itis, I have to unfortunately say that it's too late. They've already made enough sock puppets to bother you for the rest of your life. It's terminal and you won't be going to Disneyland. Look, okay, it's an issue for life insurance. There's nothing we can do at the insurance firm and I'm a YouTuber right now. That seemed to be the situation for a while behind the scenes. As I alluded to before with my... <laughs> foreshadowing please please save your applause for the end of the video mash candy boo is not a new problem just a problem i and other I stop fucking dying of tuberculosis like holy shit just a problem i and others in the community never expected to see spiked back into the pits of hell by charlie and if i'm being completely honest petty like that never really dies i mean look at me I'm basically fucking a mole. A lot of what Smash did was actually off of his platform and likely continues to this day in Discord servers. As a person who has had to deal with this loser firsthand, you could call me a bit of a law keeper for this situation. So allow me to trauma dump. I mean to catch all of you up to speed on who Dash Banderfoot is and what they've done so far. Back in September of 2020, a YouTuber who came to my house by the name of Cartoon Shi made a video documenting his actions towards his friends at the time. You see, Smush Blunderbuss is an ancient evil who predates written record, and I believe Toonshi's video must have opened some sort of Pandora's box, which could never be closed again. Is it bigoted to say that it was some sort of mummy's curse? Talking about one of my own personal experiences for a bit, I'm holding the mic of my right hand now, aren't I cool? So one of my personal experiences of Smash was one day randomly him pretending to be somebody called Blair Television and contacting Viridus Joe, saying that they really want to hop in a call with me. Vidish Joe then says this message to me and I am fucking flabbergasted. Uh, that's the level of weirdness we're out of this guy, just impersonating people. Smash's wrath turned to Cartoonshi and anyone related to him, sending them death threats, spamming the hard R, raw porn, just anything you could imagine. He's used so many sock puppets that it's just not even funny anymore. If anyone watching this video who is not Smash has the name Umushi, just know I hate you now. As you can see, I'm like a fucking weather forecaster now, holy shit. As you can see here, this guy has over a hundred accounts banned in my server. His whole impersonation thing has like gone so far that if you type up Harley's name on Twitter, there's like 30 accounts. There is an old Japanese proverb, get knocked down seven times, stand up eight. And I believe there is an Egyptian proverb of the same sentiment, sentiment, the word is sentiment. 
I'm not I'm not doing that again. Get banned from a Discord server 300 times? Join Discord server 301. Now, naturally, any sane person might give up or have a moment of calm and clarity after being banned where they reflect and maybe move on with their life. But Smash kept this up for three whole years. <laughs> I didn't even have a channel three years ago. How fuckable do you think the green M&M is? This is why they're tied up. By the way, in those two years, I've actually managed to do so much stuff that Smash could never dream of. I've gotten into uni. I have this channel. I have friends. I don't live in Egypt. After making that comment, I imagine my like Egyptian viewership has just fucking plummeted. So I will say now that I apologize. This man has made it his life's mission to wreak havoc. He's a villain, a diabolical villain. Jokes aside, the dude has been a genuine problem in those three years to Cartoonshi and others. At one point, he even tried to dox Toonshi over a video about him doing this exact same shit. Smash Bandicoot goes by many names and predates all human history. He somehow has the power of Voldemort, seeming to know when someone utters his name and immediately jumping into their DMs and chats. Like, I'm not even joking. I have no clue how he figured out Moist Critical was talking about him so quickly. Look at him. Does he even sleep? Clean your room, touch grass, take a shower, something. He's literally up at four in the morning to spam these messages in the chat. Now, instead of leading a happy life, cleaning himself up and learning not to care, Smash chose the path of revenge. Why did I say it like that? Revenge. revenge. Batman. He has genuinely stalked Cartoonshi for the better part of those three years, sending countless death threats and tracking his online activity. No matter how many times he was blocked or banned, his legion of sock puppets ensured that he was never gone for long. If he couldn't do it through Twitter, then Discord was the next best thing. Yes, you do. Explain yourself. <laughs> Why does, he, why does he talk like that? You dumb fucking moron. Here he is, right in front of your Kali ass. I'll be in touch, bitch. Do you even know what Kali means? It means man or friend in an informal manner. It's not like an insult. Yes, because you are his friend, clearly. But it's a noun. If you're trying to describe my ass, you'd need to use an adjective. I do not care. Bring him, you buffoon. You need to put more effort into your insults, man. They aren't reading. <laughs> Smash even friend to fly over to VidCon to shoo up the place. Yes, that is the level of crazy we are at. I'm purposely ignoring a lot of things so I can still get monetized. I know what someone is thinking right now. Oranges, oranges, why didn't all of you just leave him alone? Or ignore him or just report him? That's what makes him such an annoying figure to deal with. He is the unholy abomination of a Hydra and a Reddit moderator. Cut one down and more spring in its place to make an argument for CP existing. For the past three years, any attempts to get him permanently banned off any platform have been unsuccessful. And he has been permitted to run rampant to anyone unlucky enough to cross paths with him, hitting them with such classic hits as spamming the unholy image I must blur out depicting Donkey Kong, Crash Bandicoot, and doing some very weird things to Pikachu, wishing death upon Toonshi, LARPing as some sort of vigilante, intimidating goons into taking him to their leader. I'm not gonna like shout again because my throat is like feeling it, so uh, here's my best attempt to sound very intimidating if it was coming out of a six-year-old. I wanted Shadox! No, that's too high-pitched. I wanted Shadox! But Manny will do just fine. Or Geek! Bro, I'm not a part of whatever this is. Leave me alone. You are. You are friends with them. Bring me to Cartoon Shi, you mongrel. Now. No, wait. I have nothing to lose. I have zero idea who that is. Ask Manuel, ask Geek. You'd know, since you're literally his goon. I don't really talk to them. Well, I'm not a part of the cartoon community. Calling people slurs. Listen here, Abide or die. You hear Listen to me. Prune juice is where you belong. Legends tell of a time where Smash Bandicoot shut the fuck up and went silent on the internet. Peace has been restored to the lands. Flowers bloomed. Birds sang. Not a bad time was had. The evil had been sealed away. Could it be? Did Smash get a job? A girlfriend? <gasps> a conscience? Nope, he unfortunately came back just as petty and annoying as he ever was this time however we knew his return was imminent he concocted this brand new plan that was surely to silence all of his enemies 
I'm doing the voice again. It's really fun. A plan that only the most petty of people could ever entertain, let alone actually do. Smash Bandicoot abused the copyright system to delete Cartoon Chi's channel. And my dear viewer, I shall read unto thee the sacred text of this chapter as your humble law keeper. Smash has sent a third copyright strike. My channel will be deleted in seven days. At Team YouTube, you are willingly letting someone abuse your copyright system to silence and intimidate channels into submission. This person owes none of the content in these videos. Please help. You don't know this guy like I do. You haven't had, you haven't had to suffer through four long years of constant stalking, threats and harassment off platform. You do not understand the depraved depths of this man's mind. And you are still sitting back and letting him win. Hi, my name's Ty. I'm glad to be dating you. What do I do for work? Well, you see, I'm a law keeper for Smash Bandicoot. Wait, wait, where are you going? Wait, stop! In the age when Smash Bandicoot ran rampant throughout Egypt and the spaces beyond, spreading his profane bile, the copyright system his chains, and the YouTube his whip, tormenting the sinless for daring to acknowledge him for what he was. Darkness filled the land as the clock tilted down from seven days towards complete annihilation. With a final desperate plea carried upon the wings of a turquoise bird, it was then that the Lord descended upon the devil, seizing his whip and turning it upon him. The Lord, Charlie Critical, vanquished him back to the flaming dumpster from which he was birthed. The Lord bestowed upon the demon a new title, Corinne. Even though Smash has been taken off the platform, I'd still want to tell everyone that he's still out there. In fact, while I was making this video, he actually ended up making a new channel. 10 subscribers. Wow. I, I bet I fucking, I got competition. Since we're here, I just want to talk about Team YouTube's horrendous, my phone's in the shot. Ooh. YouTube are bad at handling copyright. I know, new take. I'm so innovative. But really, they genuinely dropped the ball massively on this bit. Firstly, all of the strikes Smash had given to Toonchi weren't real and he didn't own the content, as said in the tweet. The fact that somebody can just message YouTube, hey, this guy uses my content, here's proof of the time code, and YouTube are just like, okay, gun is pretty alarming and makes a lot of people including myself very very scared of their job security because there is none the threat did get a lot of attention so youtube did the bare fucking minimum and removed a single strike off of Toonchi's channel. What about the other two? I, I, I guess they're fair use. GG Smash. YouTube have removed one of the strikes, yet are refusing to remove the other two, despite them also being fraudulent. And sent by the same person. YouTube, your system is being abused. I will not ask you again. Get a human to review my content and fix this. I bet you can guess the type of response he was given to this. This normal corporate AI shit that we get usually on Twitter whenever you try to reach out to YouTube. YouTube, in recent years, Years, I don't know how many people know this, has really started singing a different tune when it comes to this type of exploitation. They've been pretty solid about addressing it and fixing it. It might not always be as fast as it should, but the fact that they're at least doing that is such a significant improvement. I've mentioned this case a couple times over the last few years, but in 2019, they absolutely teed off of a fucking douchebag's face for this type of uh, copyright strike abusing. There was a false flagger who repeatedly false flagged Minecrafters and then tried to like hold them ransom, like I'll re release the strike only if you pay me via PayPal. YouTube actually took him to court and slapped him with 25k right to the goddamn noggin. They took him over his knee, spanked his cheeks red with discipline, and kind of put the kibosh on that with an exclamation point, really. And in recent times, they have been stepping in and fixing problems like this. And I'm happy to say they did just that. So Cartoonshi made a post today talking about how the strikes are disappearing, which is great. They say, my strikes are being removed. I've got one more left that should be sorted out shortly. I want to thank everyone who reached out to help and managed to spread the word. The support from the past two days has been insane. I'm tired and need sleep. This is a huge W, but the reality is that people like this are just truly mentally unwell and need a therapist more than they need an internet connection. If people like Sneeko, FuzzyTube, or Neon teach us anything, it is that people like this will not stop or get better so long as they can get attention from it. In fact, even when you starve them of attention, it only gets worse. There is hope, however. Maybe Nomi Jesus will make a stream about this and then a video that gets millions of views and really calls out YouTube for what they did. But honestly, I think more screw was a bit too nice to YouTube. It really felt like he kind of spoke to them and they were like, listen, we'll take down the strikes. 
just be really nice to us and that's what ended up happening because it took in, until that video dropped they looked like nothing was going to happen that's kind of my main issue of this whole kind of thing like smash doing all the other stuff was bad but when he starts threatening people's livelihoods is kind of when like youtube really needs to get their shit together and i guess they did thank god it only took a channel with over 10 million subscribers for them to actually do anything like i'm glad his channel is gone but the fact that it took a channel of 10 million subscribers for youtube to actually do anything like what am i supposed to do clap congrats youtube you did it oh my god it only took you almost until this guy's channel was gone so what is the moral of this story well like the video started Smash Bandicoot's a twat and so are YouTube. This might end up being a shorter video than usual, but that's honestly because there is only so much I can cover here. He is a cyber harasser and the most interesting thing he has ever done is use the copyright system to attack one of my friends. It's pathetic, but there is only so much making him notorious is really going to fix at the end of the day. People like this feed on their infamy. I mean, just based on how people talk about him, the guy actually thinks he's intimidating. The only thing that I genuinely think would stop Smash is real life consequences i'm glad that tunchi got to keep his channel and continue to grow despite all of this even if youtube took their sweet ass time to do it it doesn't change the fact that he's still out there but one good thing that came from the situation is that his channel's gone rest in piss smash bandicoot some people want to be sympathetic towards smash but honestly i don't have the heart to do it normally i go on and on about in every video that the person behind the screen also has a life but smash doesn't you can't prove to me that he does because how the fuck was he on the stream minute one that's that's insane i know making a video dunking on smash isn't really going to get him to stop Hell, it might even get me more harassment from him. But it's still gonna feel good knowing that so many people can see him for what he truly is. A person that will always be alone. Friendship is magic or something. I don't know. <laughs> Watch that video. I'm actually pretty proud of it. And while you're at it, go support Cartoonchi over there on his channel too. That's the real end of the video. But before I go, I have to thank my channel members. I hope everyone enjoyed the video. This was definitely more weird than usual because my ugly mug's in it. Have a good day. See ya, lads. Why did I do that? <laughs>